nothing good that's ever happened in my life. I've had these boxers, and I've had these boxers for almost five years. Well, lucky Batman drawers, man. There's gonna be a big bass on the end of my line today. All right, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. How, 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 uh, how cold is it right now, Chase? We knew it was gonna be cold. When I got in my truck this morning and loaded my kayak, it said 34 degrees. And I was just thinking, man, boy, we gonna be cold in the morning. But we're out here, this is what we do. We, we go fishing, the yak creek. All right, today, we only get three baits apiece, but we're fishing the exact same bait. We're fishing what? Shaky head, jig, and a swim bait. All in the same order, T. Yeah, so first person to catch a fish on all of those lures is the winner. I don't think we got any particular punishment if you lose, but I think it's just something to like challenge us, you know what I mean? Because we, we tend to like fishing the same stuff a lot. Oh, by the way, look how juicy that looks. You see that? That's fog on top of fog on top of fog. So we're gonna start with a jig. Both of us are gonna fish a jig, and the way it works is if I catch a fish on a jig, then I move to the second bait, which is a shaky head. If I catch a fish on the shaky head, then I move to the next bait, which is a swim bait. So I could be moving to the second bait while he's stuck on the first bait or vice versa. We're just gonna see how it goes. But uh, it should be a fun challenge. We're trying to figure out if the fish have gotten that fall pattern yet. That's why we decided to do this. Got the official Mondo scale, just in case you never know what's going tell you right now you don't know how many times we've been in this little body of water right here and needed that scale i'm not saying we're gonna need it today but we've needed it definitely i think you caught almost a new pb in here i'll be completely honest on camera because i'm an honest guy walker is good at fishing this pond walker typically for some reason this pond figures him out before i do and it's like that different places we go sometimes i figure it out first but for some reason this walker's pond and I can tell you right now, he's a way better bed fisherman than I am. It seems I do better tours later on in the year and he does better in the early parts of the year. But guess what? It's still later on in the year right now, so I'm coming for you, bro. All right, guys, we're back <clears throat> with another episode of Yak Crew. We're thinking that the fish are gonna be on almost like a fall deal. So we're gonna try to target fishing fall style baits today. Typically in the fall, you wanna fish stuff that moves, swim baits and such. Just a little tip for you guys too. If you do or like what we do and you wanna try it, when you put your rods in your kayak like we do, there's been multiple times we get on the water and we have our drag and stuff set and it gets moved around when it's in your kayak. I always check it like, first couple cast when I get in the water just because you never know. If that drag's too tight and you hook into a big fig, it could break your line. You don't want that happening. This fog is amazing. The water is warm, like really warm. I was not expecting that. Let me tell Walker really quick. Boy, you already calling for help? Dude. Put your hand in the water. It's not that cold. It's warm, dude. That's actually a good sign, dude. I can yeah, tell you right now, I know for a fact that water's not coming out over there. You know why I know that? Because water's even shallower than it was last time I was here. Yeah. All right, man. Well, holler at me if you catch one. All right, man. Bye. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now is that this water has lost at least two foot of water since the last time we were here. Because all them stumps right there, they're all poking up out of the water. And none of those stumps poke up out of the water normally. So for sure not a good sign, but the fact that the water is warm definitely helps us out a little bit. Cannot believe how awesome this water looks right now. It looks absolutely amazing. Fast! Got a fish already, boys. Go ahead and bring this one in. All right, so I'm done with the shaky head. Woo! I'm gonna have to hold this a different way. He crushed it, absolutely crushed it. I got him right there on the corner of the mouth. I can't get the daggum hook out there. I might be a pliers type situation. That was actually my first cast after unwrapping from the last fish. Definitely not the biggest fish. I really wish it was a bigger one, but. Hi, I was just caught by Walker, and Walker is the superior fisherman, and Chase, he really, really sucks. Okay, put me back in the water now. Sure thing, buddy. All right. Only the jig. Well, we just put the pressure on me. Walker gets to move on to the jig. I'm still fishing the shaky head. You on the jig now? Yeah, I got a fish on right now, y'all. I just got hit pretty good. Felt it go brrr, brrr, brrr. Throw it back in that same spot. I just got hit pretty good. 
I didn't want to set the hook because I was like kind of laying over a, a lay down. That fish might have got off because of that. This place is so juicy. Good when you're throwing stuff like the shake head and the jig, fishing around these stumps. By the way, huge shout out to number one bait and tackle. If you guys are ever looking for an awesome tackle shop with cool people that are down to earth and have good mindset on fishing and can tell you what to fish and just like a most tackle let me let me go back a little bit most tackle shops you go in most of the time they're ran by people that are just trying to make a profit just trying to get people in there they're going to sell you anything number one bait and tackle is like an at-home feeling you could go in there and just talk about fishing everybody there is real cool but anyways back to what i was talking about me and walker were in there the other day working with a, a friend of ours that we yo i think i got a fish on hold on I waited to see. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm going to stay on the shaky head, but I'm going to tell Walker what happened. Hello? I just caught one, got it all the way in the kayak, and slung my line to lip it. It fell, bounced off the front of my kayak, and fell in the water. I'm going to stay on the shaky head because I don't think that counts. All right. All right, then. All right, back to what I was telling you guys. We were in there the other day working with a friend of ours, Dustin. He's at number one bait and tackle. The guy's awesome. Me and Walker were in there the other day, and uh, I didn't know. You know, we were in there with Wes. Wes actually met us up there to to talk to Dustin about some stuff we got in the works. We're in there just hanging out. Can't really give away too much information on what's going on. You guys will see soon. But uh, we're in there hanging out and this gentleman comes in there. They're talking to a really nice guy. And it turned out, it's like the guy that owns Buckeye Lure. And he told me and Walker the story about how he invented the shake head. And I thought it was the coolest thing. We do YouTube because we want people to grow and just for people to see like, hey, you can go out there and catch big fish out of a kayak. You don't have to have a fancy experience expensive bass boat or expensive gear you can go out there and, and do just what those guys are doing the way me and walker do and to meet people like dustin and west that are on the same page as us they care about the sport they care about people learning and getting out there and spreading the knowledge of fishing is pretty awesome i have to say walker's hanging around back there kind of in the deep stump boy looks like a majestic sasquatch over there there's so much fog on this pond that i can't even see chase i don't even know where he's at i hear him though he's doing something i don't know what he's saying though Freaking train, dude. Man, I hate fishing a jig. I really do. I don't, I mean, some people like it and I think it's just a preference, but I don't like fishing a jig. I truly don't. I think I might be getting bit. That's a fish. I don't want to lose this one, y'all. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Spring shallow, summer deep, fall shallow, too deep, and then winter they go back deep. That's a good fish, y'all. He's not uh, really fat, but look how that shaky head got that guy. Right there. This fish feels hot. It's a beautiful fish, probably about a pound and a half. I'll throw him on the scale in a little while, and uh, we'll see. I'm going to hold on to him a little bit, but I couldn't got a better hook set on that guy. Look at that. And he just gradually picked it up. I didn't really feel him uh, hit it hard. Just gradually picked it I know what this fish has been eating just by feeling its mouth. I'm going to show you guys something. I don't know if the camera will catch it, but I'm going to try to get it for you. If you can see all those ridges right there, and on the top of this fish is mouth that means these fish have been majority eating bait fish it's like it roughs up the front of their mouth that's a beautiful fish though. it's a good healthy looking fish these fish look so clean feels good to actually get a green one in the boat i've already missed two today it looks like i'm about to move on to the jig in this challenge but that's a good fish oh what's that did you say something buddy walker chase is a way better fisherman than you i appreciate that buddy i really do i know you want to get back in the water buddy I've gotten a couple hits on this jig so far, and I think the reason why I'm not getting bit, it actually doesn't, I don't think it's got anything to do with my, with me not really liking fishing a jig. I think if they're just not taking the jig, I think, because I know how to fish a jig. I've fished them before plenty of times. I just don't understand why they're not biting, but I've had a couple hits, that's for sure. I know when we first got here, they were on, and I'm wondering if it's all back there is where the action is or not, and I know I lost a fish over here that I didn't know was swimming with it, and before I could set the hook, he was off. So, they're, they're in kind of a weird 
weird mood. I think it's doable though. It's definitely doable. We just gotta kind of figure this out. And it sucks big time that I can't find a bath. Put on and on my hood. Golly, I'm the next American Idol, dog. Did you hear that voice? That was a voice of like, like heaven. That was like a heavenly voice. What? Like I said earlier, today's just kind of a friendly competition between me and Walker trying to show you guys how to catch fish on different bait. That right there is a jig, black and blue, with a rage crawl on the back of it as a trailer. Cool thing about throwing a jig is nine times out of ten, you're going to hook up to a lot bigger of a fish on a jig, and you can definitely tell when you get bit on one of those. Cool though, we both linked up to fish, so today's a success so far. Jigs are awesome because you can fish them so many different types of way. A lot of people talk about, oh, Oh, that's a swim jig oh that's a football jig you can fish them you can fish pretty much any jig any type of way yeah the head's designed a little bit different but um it's a really versatile bait for pretty much any time of year too you can use them in summer you can use them on feds i've never really fished jigs in very very cold but i know fishing like rocky stuff and stumps like we're fishing right now jigs typically get a pretty good bite i'm due for a jig fish though i haven't caught one in a while wes has had some juicy jigs the other day i seen that he was fishing and uh made me want to catch a jig fish uh kind of told walker today when we implemented this challenge let's throw a jig in there let's catch a fish on a jig last time that me and him fished together here there's a pipe over there that pushes water out and when that pipe was pushing water like we were telling you summertime moving water can find some fish we sat on top of that pipe together and caught a bunch of fish walker looking majestic over there through that fog Hey, let me ask you a question, bro. Do you ever wake up in the morning and look yourself in the mirror and think, dang, I wish I was more like Walker? Or do you ever like lie in bed awake at night and you can't sleep and you think to yourself, man, I really wish Walker would teach me his secrets to bass fishing? There was one time I was laying awake at night thinking like, I was thinking about Yak Crew and the channel and what we've been doing, man. And I was like, dang, man, if I could teach Walker to catch fish the way I did, maybe we'd be on to something. <laughs> Got he! <laughs> Got he! <laughs> oh snap, dude. Here we go. Look at that, dude. He did, man. That's in the bottom of his mouth. Pretty awesome. Been fishing hard for like an hour with this jig. And I was thinking about pulling some shenanigans on Walker. And I was like, no, I'm going to grind it out with him. But uh, that fish... He choked that jig, dude. All right, y'all, that's pretty awesome. Just got one on the old jig after fishing it for like an hour. I finally get to quit fishing this thing. I don't really think the fish are on this really good. Chase still has it, both of his fish. I'm still trying to get with my jig fish. It's an unfortunate struggle that I'm having to deal with right now, but I guess that's part of the game. Oh my Lord, I really want to catch another fish. Whoa, we spooked the fish. All right, y'all, well, I'm on the last lure now. Walker's still on the, the jig. I'm moving to the swim bait. And I've got this thing with a four-aught hook, screw-in head, weighted belly, and uh, this thing looks juicy in the water. Looks really good. I'm gonna go out there to the middle in a few minutes and burn it on top of the water because I see fish coming up up there. Dude, this might be a biggie. Dude, this might be a biggie. It's bigger than the other two. Y'all, I like was talking to Walker, trying to give him a jig fishing tip. And this fish hit the swim bait on the fall. And if I can land this puppy, I think I might've just won this challenge. Dude, what the heck? Yeah, dude, swim bait. Dude, he's about to come unhooked. He's about to come unhooked, dude. Dude, he's about to come unhooked. No, no, don't, don't, don't get unhooked. No. There we go, swim bait, y'all. Like I said a second ago, if you slow crawl it the way I was doing, you have to really grind. 
But if you slow crawl it, a lot of times it produces bigger fish. And I learned how to swim bait fish from that guy right there. That's a pretty good fish, y'all. Heck yeah, dude. Walker, this one's probably pushing like three pounds, dude. Epic fish. And we already knew that if we came in here and just fished like a shaky head or something, we'd get tore up. But we didn't necessarily want it to be that easy. We wanted to come up in here and we wanted to slay that. But we didn't want to like slay it on ease. We wanted it to be challenging, difficult, something different than we normally do. Fight things up. But that's what happened. And Chase managed to be the first one catch something on all three i'm still on a jig the only thing i caught was that pecker head earlier man dang y'all i didn't even know that i had a fish on i noticed my line was coming quicker than i was reeling it I felt it, and then I was like, man, that's not a fish. And then my line went, you know how it's real tight when you're reeling it in? It got real slack like he was swimming at me. Y'all wanna see something funny? This lure is like the size of this fish on there. How does that even happen? How does that even make any sense? Okay, 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 we're back at the house. Chase beat my butt. Today was pretty awesome. <laughs> we came out trying to do that three bait challenge, the three bait Russian roulette sun. And uh, it actually worked out. Like uh, shaky head, jig, and swim bait. And managed to catch a fish on all of them. Walker, you got what? What'd you, what'd you get, the shaky head and the jig? Shaky head and the jig, but I got the jig after he already won. I was trying to, what I was trying to do was I was like, okay, well he's already got all his and we still got time. Why not still try and knock it out of the park real quick? And I got close. I was fishing this swim bait before we had to leave but i ended up just fishing back and then i told myself that when we got there i'd just give up so the idea behind this whole video today was not i mean we always compete between each other pretty much every time we go we have this little superior fisherman title which i still hold today buddy just today just today until next time, time maybe and last time yeah but the time before you had me yeah. the time before that i had you it goes back and, and forth and I had the whole idea behind this video is to show you guys some different baits so a lot of times we got there and we finesse fish that's what i like to do walker likes to do finesse fishing but we wanted to show you you can catch fish so i gave a little bit of tips on each bait and uh hopefully you guys can get out there and do what we're doing just two kayak fishermen having some fun sometimes you gotta spice it up i got something for you buddy I can only imagine what this is about to be. <laughs> I found these the other day at the Where tackle were they at? shop, dude. Uh, I went in there and I was like, dude, I've been wanting to try this lure and I figured you'd want to try it out. Oh, for real? Yeah, dude, it's pretty epic. It's two raw eggs, dude. Dang, what the heck, man? What's that for? Dude, this right here, I think. You lost today, so there has to I be a punishment. I know where this is going. Oh, I know where this is going. Oh, you know where this is going? Where is this going? You're going to want me to eat one of those. Why is there two, though? You want me to eat two of them? No, I'm going to do it with you. I felt bad. In the Carolina Reaper video, this dude went through some pain because he lost. I felt bad. So today, for redemption, because it's my homie, I feel like even though I won, I should take the punishment with Bro, it. I'm going to let you guys know right now, I don't like eggs. I don't even like them cooked. I don't like them scrambled. I don't like them sunny side up. And I dang sure don't like them like that i've never had a raw egg in my mouth but i do know that i hate weird textures and raw eggs is probably the weirdest texture you can have in your mouth we have to do it man you got to man all right well i guess we gotta give people what they want okay. it must be done it must be done so the way we're gonna do this is i'm gonna let chef chase crack the egg but so you guys know that we're not faking it we're gonna put the eggs in these here tupperware so you can see it go down our mouth this is about to probably be the grossest thing i think i'd rather eat that pepper again man like yeah. honestly god i'd rather uh, eat that pepper i'm kind of scared about it too i'm not even gonna lie <sighs> welcome back to another episode of the yak crew cooking channel y'all better leave some comments congratulating this guy he doesn't like textures and stuff i don't like them either but this is crazy. This is absolutely insane. I'm here for you, man. I'm here for you the whole way. Dude, you know what? I don't think it looks good enough. I think I should add to this a little bit. How? Stir it up a little bit with some swim bait tail. You want yours stirred up too? Yeah, dude. Swim bait tail. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. If the bass like it, we ought to like it, right? Being a baby about it, dude. I need to just do it. I go first. All right, I'm warning you. If I got to puke when this goes in my mouth, dude, I'm hightailing it over there. All right, let me know when you're gonna go. Dude, when we were on the water, my stomach was growling. I've got awful hungry today. I'm really, really hungry, man. I'm starving. You ready for it? Yeah, go ahead, dude. You gonna be all right, dude?
Is it that nasty, bro? I think it wants to come back up. Do you get my eyes, homie? <laughs> Is it that bad? It's gone, dude. I think I'm all right. Think so? Dude, I thought it was coming back up for a minute, dude. Hey, man, you took that like a champ, dog. I don't right. know how people do that. They do like these workout videos. Dude, that's horrible, dude. Is it really that bad? That's horrible, dude. Does it taste nasty or even down the hatch or is it just the texture it's of it? It's the texture and like when it gets in your, you know how egg will slide when you put it in the pan? Do you can feel that feeling. I know what that feeling feels like. Um, It'll just slide down your throat. That sounds really freaking nasty, man. You look very hungry. Very, very hungry. Yummy. I don't think I look hungry. This might not have been one of the Yak Crew challenges, but we still like to kind of up the stakes sometimes and make it interesting. So I lost fair and square, so I have to do it. Chase did it. He's a good man. Decided he felt bad for me for spanking me so bad. And now the loser's got to do it. I don't know, man. I think I should stir it up again. I didn't look good enough, man. You got to use a swim bait. Dude, baby. you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong, dude. Oh. You got to get that shaky head in there. Alright. Yeah, that's good, dude. Yeah. You don't get sick from the egg. You'll definitely get sick from whatever water was on this bait. Alright, let's go. I like to propose a toast. Cheers. You got a way better gag reflex than I do, buddy. I don't know, hold on. Oh my god, dude, that is so nasty. I think I'm good. Since I lost, I'm gonna do another one, just for the hell of it. This is for y'all out there. Y'all better like, share, and subscribe, man. Ready? You gonna do it right out of the shell this time, like a man? Yeah, here we go. You make it look so easy, dude. I couldn't do it again. It's the texture for me, dude. Alright. Ho, oh, how was that egg? Dude, that egg was I was I was about to puke, man. I don't know. Was it that bad? I'm not good with texture. I I'd dude. do that again. But I didn't throw it up. I thought I was definitely gonna throw up, man. My eyes were watering and stuff, man. I'm surprised you didn't throw up when you did the Carolina Reaper, man. I wanted to, but I, I looked up on the internet that if you, you throw up a Carolina Reaper, it's gonna burn all over again. So I was like, nope. Make sure you keep watching, like, and subscribe. As always, leave some comments. We wanna know what you people think about us. What you think about Do you like YouTube? us? Do you hate us? Do you want us to go away? But leave some comments. Let us know what you want to see. It can be like a fishing challenge or if you want to see us fish a certain type of bait. We did a tutorial kind of on three different baits today. If you guys look the bottom right of your screen, I don't know which way it'll be when the camera's flipped over for the edit, but... That one. One of those ways. That one. No, it might be that way. Dude, that one. That one. That one? No, that one. That one. All right, anyway. If you guys, uh, y'all see that logo right there, shout out to Dustin from Number One Bait and Tackle. He designed that for us, along with another logo, but you won't be seeing that until we release our own merchandise. But that logo down there, that YK, that's dope. So shout out to Dustin from Number One Bait and Tackle for hooking us up with that. That's That looks awesome. What do you think about it, man? I'm going to tell you guys really quick, and I'm not going to go into a long spew of this, but the other day when me and Walker were on the way to this place to meet with Dustin, we were thinking, all right, cool, it's a bait and tackle shop, but it's totally different than any tackle shop I've ever stepped foot in. These people have good insight on fishing. They're really humbling people. I would go up there and just talk fishing with the guys. I mean, everybody Dude. there makes you feel like you're at home. They're not trying to get people in there to buy their stuff. They're trying to help the fishing community grow, and that's something that me and Walker are really big on so to meet some people that are have the same intentions we have in fishing is just awesome so huge shout out dustin we appreciate you y'all go check out number one bait tech you like our videos go ahead and smash that like button smash. if you think our videos are dope if you want to get updated every time we get a video go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh i guess we'll see you guys next time i'm the superior fisherman bro you just ruined my house bro. i'm the superior fisherman dude just kidding peace just this time peace